and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2016, please stand. Class of 2017. So I, I got smart this year. This is, this is the first year I, I put it in really big print. Oh, I do all my stuff that way now. The only way to go. I'd ask another student to do it, but they probably don't have a number Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, liberty, just, thank you. Thanks for your help. Please take your seat. Liberty and justice for all. I was going to put some extra words in there. Still coming. Good afternoon. It's an honor to welcome students, staff, family members.
guest, Edison Academy's fifth commencement exercise. I'd like to recognize some of our distinguished guests here this afternoon. We have Mayor Bill Carpenter. School Committee and Vice Chairman of the School Committee, Mr. Thomas Minicello. And, and Dr. Clifford Murray, who is representing the Superintendent's Office this afternoon. Okay, Class of 2017. You did it. <laughs> you made it. Never gets old, does it, guys? Just a couple of words. As you celebrate your accomplishments today, you need to think about what's next. I challenge you to carefully consider your next steps. Never before has it been more important to be mindful of the decisions that you make today and how they will affect the trajectory of your life going forward. As you all know, right now there's a lot of uncertainty in the world, a lot of confusion, anger, violence, any of those things that can affect the path that you choose. You must choose wisely to create a path to accomplish your goals. This is not going to be easy. As all you know, it wasn't easy getting here, was it? But again, neither was graduating high school, but you did it. So as you face whatever challenges that lie ahead, you can be certain of this. You are awesome, and you can do it. You have navigated many challenges in order to graduate high school. So after today, that's behind you. So what's next? It's my hope that you continue to set goals for yourself and that you continue to achieve them. No one can know where your journey will take you. But now you all know this. The journey begins with you. You can do it. I encourage you all to keep setting goals for yourself and be steadfast in your commitment to accomplishing those goals. Class of 2017, I wish you the best of luck and success in all that you do, and congratulations. I'd like to introduce our first speaker today, representing the Brockton Public Schools Administration, is Dr. Clifford Murray. Dr. Murray has been principal, been, been in the Boston Brockton Public Schools for 19 years. He spent nine years as principal East Middle School, nine years as West Middle School principal, and in the last four years he's been in the dual role of executive director as well as principal of West Middle School. This coming school year he'll start a new job at Brockton Public Schools as principal of Brockton High School. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Clifford Murray. Good evening. Uh, I am honored and humbled to be here today representing the superintendent, Kathleen Smith, the deputy superintendent, Mike Thomas, and really all of the people at the central office and uh, the principals and assistant principals and teachers you've had throughout your course here in the uh, Brockton Public Schools. It, it really is a tremendous honor. And before I go any further, I think there's another group uh, I think we should all thank right now, and that is all of the guests, all of the family and friends that are here to celebrate your accomplishments. So let's give those folks a big round of applause. I, I know that you wouldn't be here without the, the support at uh, home and at work, and so it's very special that they get to, to come and attend to this. Uh, I marvel at your accomplishments. It is uh, the utmost respect that I stand before you this evening with what you've achieved. Dr. Cobbs alluded to that a moment ago about some of the obstacles and challenges that you faced, yet you overcame and you sit here this evening as high school graduates. Uh, you have triumphed in the face of uh, some very challenging 
and, and very difficult circumstances, and you've demonstrated a quality, some characteristics that are incredibly important and needed in today's society. You've shown intestinal fortitude, perseverance, you, you've never given up. You have a work ethic and a dedication that is something envied by employers and colleges. You need to keep that in mind. And you have a commitment when you set a goal. Again, these are things that uh, people both in the private sector and in colleges or whatever endeavor you choose to uh, challenge yourself with next, they're looking for these characteristics and qualities. So never sell yourself short about what you've accomplished. Uh, and it's not an easy thing that you've done and people recognize that. Uh, it's uh, important that we stand here today to honor what you've accomplished and I think it's uh, fitting that you have both the mayor and the vice chairman of the school committee here as well. So I congratulate you. Brevity is one of my strengths and I will turn it now over to the mayor. Congratulations and best of luck. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Thomas Minicello, Vice Chair of the School Committee. Good evening, everyone. We are so proud of all of you. This is a very special night. And again, you should be very proud of yourselves. Um, understand something. In life, there's no one path to get anywhere. Everyone goes about things their own way. Some people um, go through college right out of high school. Some people take a different path, work a few years, and then, and then achieve whatever their goals are. So just remember this, hard work, tenacity, grit, that's what all of you have. You guys have, you guys have motivation. You guys have a fire within you. And just because you don't go about things in one particular way does not mean you can't reach the goal you want. I went to school with the girl who is a very close friend of mine. She graduated from high school. She had a baby. She decided that um, she wanted to take care of her child and do things her way, but she always wanted to be a nurse. So a few years later, she basically looked into what she needed to do to become a nurse, and that's what she did. She, she got support from her family and friends to help watch her baby, but she always wanted to achieve that goal. And today, she's a, a very successful nurse, has a very good career, be, is able to provide for herself and her family. So basically, you know, the moral of the story is, no matter what path you choose, don't lose your goals. Don't lose that fire within you. You are proof right here that you wanted to achieve something and you can do it. So I am so proud to be here tonight. I hope you are all proud of yourselves. And whatever it is you want to do, make sure you go forward in a positive way because the bottom line is you want to provide yourself with a nice life, with a nice career, with a nice future for yourself and your families. And, and we want that for you, and we know you can all do that. So congratulations, and go on, through, go on through this graduation tonight with a celebration with all your friends and family because you guys did it, and we're really proud of you. Thank you. It's always my pleasure to introduce the next guest. We are honored to have as keynote speaker this, this afternoon, the Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter with us today. It's always a pleasure to welcome Mr. Carpenter as a keynote speaker at our commencement because Mayor Carpenter has always been an advocate and committed to the success of Edison Academy. We don't have a stronger friend in Brockton than Mayor Carpenter from, from Edison Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Mayor Bill Carpenter. Well, good evening, everyone. It's great to be here with you. It's, uh, it's great to have Mr. Minicello here uh, alongside uh, tonight because I recall, Tom, about six or seven years ago when we were serving together on the school committee and the whole idea, the concept of Edison Academy was proposed. And 
I think something that, that we realized at that time when we decided to make the investment in this program is that as Tom said, uh, there, there needs to be more than one path to success. And I think tonight we have 198 graduates who have chosen a path to get to success. And amongst all of the graduates, and as I get the opportunity to come each year and, and meet everyone, I realize that every single person graduating tonight has their own story. Everybody got here under some different set of circumstances. But you also all have a lot in common. And one thing you'll have in common tonight is that you'll all receive a high school diploma from Edison Academy. So I want, to be, I want to be clear to everyone, because sometimes they say we're giving diplomas, but the fact of the matter is that everyone here receiving a diploma tonight earned their diploma, and in most cases, they worked harder than most high school graduates have to to get there. So I do want to make sure that I, I thank all the staff, along with Dr. Cobbs here at Edison Academy, and all of the family members and friends that are here. Uh, one of the things I've learned over the last four years is you don't accomplish a whole lot by yourself. You need people around you who support you, and I guarantee you that everyone here that's receiving a diploma tonight has someone, or more than one, that played some role in supporting you and helping you to get to the finish line here and earn your high school diploma. So you've made an investment in yourself. You've made an investment in yourself by putting in the work that it took. And I know that most of you have jobs. And you're working, and you're coming to school, and you're coming to school afternoons and evenings. And when you go to school at night, morning comes real fast. And you've made an investment in yourself. So now it's up to you to decide what your return on investment will be. You've made the investment, now go get the return on the investment. Where do you go from here? What do you do with that diploma when you walk out of here? And what's the game plan? And I know that uh, Dr. Cobbs and the folks here at Edison have worked with you on each of you developing your own game plan. So whether that's immediately into work, whether that's vocational training, furthering education, I know a number of you are going on to Massasoit, or any other education, make sure you're leaving with a plan, and it's a plan that gives you a return on the investment that you've made in yourself. So I do, uh, I do Dr. Clubs, I do believe in Edison Academy, and I also believe in every one of you that did the work to take advantage of the opportunity that Edison Academy offers. And we are the City of Champions, Brockton's a great place. This is the real Brockton here tonight. Forget about what you see in the news or read in the paper. This is what Brockton is all about here tonight. People who aren't afraid to take it the tough way sometimes. We are a tough city. We are a resilient city. We do always bounce back. And I know many of you have overcome some adversity to get to where you are tonight, but that's what makes Brockton great. I love to go out and talk to folks about the Brockton dream because the Brockton dream is the American dream. It happens here in Brockton every day, and there's 198 folks tonight that are showing what this dream is all about. So remember, we share one dream, we're all on one team, we're in one fight together, because this is one Brockton. Thank you. Now we have some students that want to say a few words. Um, our first student speaker is Jocelyn Gacon. My name is 
Jocelyn Garçon, and it is a pleasure for me to be here tonight. I come from the country of Haiti, where I had to work very hard to support my family. Because of the long hours of work, I never had a, the chance to attend school and earn my high school diploma, which was always a, a dream of mine. Then, in 1995, I had the opportunity to come to the United States. I still had to work to support my family. So, I still had no time to further my education. Then, in September of 2015, my son entered the military, my daughter entered high school, and I finally had the time to continue to my education. It was still difficult working two jobs, two jobs and attend school. But with the assistance of my mother and my sister, he was able to pursue my dream of graduating. I went to, I want to take the oppor this opportunity now to thank them for all the help. I also want to thank all my teachers at Edison Academy. <laughs> for helping me understand the difficult materials in class. They were always available to help me after class. I also want to thank the guidance department and the principal, Dr. Cobbs. <laughs> for their support. Finally, I also like to thank Mayor Carpenter and the Brockton School Committee for the support of Edison Academy. I know without your belief in this program, it would not exist. As, a gradu as, as I graduate tonight, I feel very accomplished had having achieved this important step in my life. I always dream of the day when I will walk across the stage to receive my diploma. And now that day is here, <laughs> However, I will not step here. I will attend college to show my children that everything is possible. <laughs> and that no matter how old you are, it is never too late to achieve your goal. I also want to tell all the graduates tonight that everything is possible. Don't stop here. You must continue to learn more and achieve whatever goal you set for yourself. I wish 
you all the best of success. And God bless you all. Congratulations, class 2015. Well done. I always say that without students, we have no school. However, Justin makes a good point. Without teachers, we have no students. So thank you very much, staff at Edison Academy. Our next student reader is Arnold Kenfleck. Welcome. Good afternoon and welcome to everybody. My name is Arnold. And it is an honor for me to be part of the Edison Academy graduation ceremony. It is an important day for all of us who are graduating today as we close this chapter of our life story and move on to the next. I still remember when I was still in my country of Cameroon in Africa where I had to struggle every day. All I had was hope. I hoped for a better future where I would become more educated and have a better life. Finally, on September 8, 2015, my dream came true. When I arrived on Legon Airport in Boston, Massachusetts, yet, even though my life got easier in the, in the United States, there was still a great deal of work to do. First and foremost, I had to learn English because I often got teased and made fun of when I spoke. Even though it was humiliating at first, it made me stronger and it made me work harder. So because of my, because of my determination and ambitions, I am a member of a debate league and even more amazing, I am standing here in front of all, all of you giving this graduation speech. But this is not the end for me. My next goal is to go forward to college in order to become a successful engineer. I don't know who is responsible for creating Edison Academy, but I want to thank that individual because this is a program that is necessary and helpful for students like me. At Edison Academy, I was among people that, if I needed anything, would offer me support and assistance. I also want to thank all the instructors and the guardian counselor that was there to help me and to give me some direction when I needed. Finally, I want to thank Dr. Cobb for being such a good principal and leader. I also want to thank my family, who has always assisted me and advised me on everything I have done. I remember back at the time when I was so stupid, I was about to take the wrong turn in life. I remember being so selfish. I remember being scared and lost in life. But thankfully, my family was there for me. They helped me overcome my fears. Now I am a man. Now I am a man, a man with integrity. To all of the great here tonight, make sure you tell to your family that you love them so much because when they are gone, no matter how loud you cry or how hard you scream, one day they might be gone and maybe they won't come back. Looking down before me, I see all of you Edison graduate, and I'm happy for you all. Follow graduate. The future is out there for all to pursue. Follow your dream. Go forward with your hope. And never give up. 
Dare to dream big. We are the future. The future of the world is ours to change and make, and make it improve. Always remember this sentence. Work hard today and sleep comfortably tomorrow. Thank you and congratulations, classes of 2015. Thank you, Arnold. Excellent. Okay, we have one more student reader, Ms. Julissa Melendez Gitti. One of our, our younger graduates as well. <laughs> Buenas noches a todos. My name is Julissa Melendez Guidi. I am so honored to be standing here before of you tonight and happy to be part of the class 2017 and to be a student of Edison Academy. I was born in Honduras. I came to United States of America illegally with a little education and not knowing English. I started this journey 26 years ago. I still remember the first things I did when I first came to this country. My mother, who raised me, took me to Third Avenue in the Bronx and bought me a pair of sneakers. And she told me, Next week, you are going to start high school. I want you to learn English. I want you to finish high school because I wish for you to do better in life. I am a woman who has dreams, who believes that life is about love, hope, balance, respect, and choices. Time passed, I was so close to finish high school when I had to make a very difficult choice. It was between work to help my biological mother and siblings in Honduras or finish high school. I chose to help my mother. It wasn't easy. I used to work seven days a week for 16 hours a day. I became a home helate. I became a fishman. I paint houses and I was a housekeeper. Time, con time continued to pass. Lot of beautiful things happened in my life. I, made my, I met my husband. I became a godmother and model of three girls. I met friends who became more than friends. They are now family to me, and I learned how to speak English. But things were still missing in my life. I was in legal for 17 years. 10 years ago, things started to change. I became a green card holder. Before I became legal in this country, I wrote an affidavit. I asked for forgiveness to enter into this country illegally. I asked for a second chance to stay, and also I make a promise to finish high school. When I say 
that life for me was about making choices. I mean it. When I got my green card 10 years ago, I opened my business of housekeeping. For the past three years, I haven't been enabled to work because health reasons. Thank God I am doing better. Few months, few months ago, I find myself making choices again between going back to work or going back to school, and between being a green card holder or being a citizen. This, ta this time, I choose to become a citizen of the United States of America. and to finish high school. I would like my children and my children's children to remember me as a, not yes, as a home helate, as the fisherman, the painter, the housekeeper. I want them to remember me as a hardworking woman. And also, And also, I want my girls to know that I am a woman that believes in God, in loyalty, and education. <laughs> to my class, congratulations to my class. And I hope when we all walk away tonight, I want to share what is my wish, because my wish is to continue. For me, tonight, is, this is just the beginning. It's not the end. And I wish the same for all of you, to go home and continue to have dreams, to never stop. And remember, there is times in life that things doesn't go the way we want it to the way we expected. And we got under a lot of frustration. But don't let frustration blind you. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you. Souvenir. Okay, what y'all been waiting for? It's time to get down to business. <laughs> time for the diplomas. All right. Say what? <laughs> you ready? All right. Okay. So. She's calling me. <laughs> she's already calling me. Look, she she called it by mistake, I think. I don't think so. You want me to answer? No, I can't answer. No, it's uh, she didn't say anything. Oh, it's your phone call. It's someone's phone. Yeah, it was uh, calling. I don't know, calling. She has my phone in her hand. Yeah, she probably called by mistake. You good? Well, she wants to try it, that it is. Can huh? you hear? Can you hear? No. She's not. Wait. Answer. Wait. It all out. Is it good? A little loud. <laughs> she has to do a little loud. She has to speak, speak a little. Speak a little louder. Speak a little louder. Yeah. But a little loud. Okay, we are ready. It's me, right? Mm -hmm. What's that? What's that? Adilson Alves. <laughs> Tariana Alves.
Carmen Andrade. Sileide Andrade. Eugênia Andrade. Kim Andrade. <risos> Andreia Andrade Gomes. Savannah Balestier. Josima Batista. Lídia Barbosa. Izzy Barbosa. Júnior Barbosa. Marlene Basile. Deja Blevins Cheek. William Bolivar. <laughs> Which card? Bring your. Okay, let's keep one. Let's keep one. Let's keep this one. Britain. Brittany Brinsfield. Juan Carlos Brito. Fernanda Cabral. Jordan Calcano. Anthony Camacho. Deljo Cesar. Tracy Cole Gordon. Trace. Trace. Javon Conward. Ferdin Cora. Candalisa Correia Pinto. Cristina Cruz. Lisa de Barros. Aloísio de Brito. Elga de Carvalho. Vanessa de Carvalho. Artemisa de Pina. Antonieta de Pina. Kayla de Pina. Manuel de Pina. Núria de Pina. Rubem de Pina. Rubem. Emily de Premio. Candy Dosseville. Ruth dos Reis. Edson dos Santos. Lacey dos Santos. Tisha? Katisha Eli. Marina. Marina Emil. Dials 
Jesse Fun Fun. Stevenson Felix. Ariana Fernandes. Nicole Fernandes. Marc Fleurin. Jamal Fort. Jorge Fort. Olegario Fortes. Sofia Fortes. Anthony Francis. Leila Fue. Fue. Amani Fuque. Marangeli Garcia. Jocelyn Garçon. Shalia Gibson. Christian Giordano. Haley Giovenco Joseph. Amadeu Gomez. Edimar Gonçalves. Dianeia Gonzalez. Kashmir Henley. Dianelis Hernandez. Serena Hilt. Rafael Hizi Irizarry. Elijah Jean. Vladimir Jean. Jasmine Jean. Renaud Jean. Gerline Jean Francois. Carrie Ann Jean Lewis. Leslie Jones. Arnold Ken Fat. Katie Kilday. Kendra Lachens. Kledimira Lado. Lauren Leggett. Leggett. Anisha Lopes. Elisa Lopes. Isabel Lopes. Monica Lopes Teixeira. Natalie Louis Charles. Daniel Luis Lucia. Janilson Macedo. <laughs> Tiffany Marks. <laughs> Revon Martin. No? Okay. Ruth Mambali. <laughs> Julissa Melendez Gildy. Patricia, oh, Patricia Mendes. Yeah. 
Luisa Mendes Ferreras. Isaac Mercado. Alexis Monteiro. Augusta Monteiro. Edmilson Monteiro. John Monteiro. Khadija Mohamed Turner. Ingrid Nelson. Siobhan Nelson. Vitor Nunes. Gavin O'Brien. Christopher O'Donnell. Damien Heather Ortiz Jada Oseas Ariana Pagan Alexis Paz Maria Pereira. No. Daphne Pierre. Oliver Pierre. Kayla. No, Kayla. Kayla Pires. Gilberto Pisse. Luis Quinones. Stephanie Rasun. Stevenson Refuse. Katia Rezende. Nathan Rezende. Wesley Reyes. Stephanie Reyes Lugo. Brittany Ribeiro. Alisa Riley. Angelina Rivera. Jasari Robinson. Maria Rodriguez. Maria Rodriguez de Pina. Christian Romano. Penelope St. Fleur. Jessica Sanchez. Nicole Santiago. Emily Santos. No? Okay. Marilda Sequeira. Brendan Sin. Jean Kendi Smith. Shante Smith. <laughs> Talicia Smith. Haley Souza. Andriana. Emily Santos.
Andriana Senfa. Marvin Stevenson. Kevin Swain. Elias Teixeira. Helton Teixeira. Cynthia Teixeira Medina. Bosco Terry. Fletcher Thima. Markelly Tibway. Omar Toure. Enoel Valles. Lady Varela. Kalia Vasconcelos. <laughs> Janito Vicente. Noadia Virgil. <laughs> Marina Duarte. Ryan White, Ian White, Vaughn White, Wow, that was a lot of work. There's a lot of you guys out there. Congratulations again. So, class of 2017, or should I say graduates of 2017. Now, please stand, class of 2017. Which, which <laughs>